Welcome back, math experts. This is Miss Sam, your favorite math teacher. On this video, we will sort to the shapes based on the absence or presence of lines and angles. Where do we start? You know where. Let's find the keywords. Awesome. Let's read it together. Jillian sorted polygons into groups. Okay. Polygons, you know that poly means many, into groups, so she sorted them, which means like classify, put in groups. The polygons shown belong in the same group. Okay, so we have all these polygons, and it says which description best represents this group? A. Polygons with perpendicular and parallel lines. Okay, let's see. Perpendicular lines. What are perpendicular lines? Remember, perpendicular lines create 90 degree angles. So we have to find if these shapes have perpendicular and parallel lines. Let's see. Remember the trick that I used in another video? Just color the corner of a piece of paper because this is a 90 degree angle. What do we do next? Label the angles on each shape. Let's do that. First angle. Is this a perpendicular line? Definitely not because this is an obtuse angle. Okay, is this a perpendicular line? Uh, no. This is an acute angle, less than 90 degrees. And this is acute, acute. So this shape does not have any perpendicular lines. Can this be the answer? That's not it. Keep going. Definitely not because here it says and parallel lines. So A is not it. What about B? Polygons with acute or right angles. So we're looking for acute or right angles. So this is acute. Okay, this is good. Obtuse. Let's do the other one. Obtuse, definitely obtuse, rotate the paper, vertex with vertex, line with line, obtuse angle, rotate the paper, vertex with vertex, one line with one line, definitely obtuse angle. So this shape does not have an acute nor a right angle. So does this mean this could be the answer? Do we choose that one? No, it's not the right answer. Okay, let's check C. Polygons with acute and or obtuse angles. Okay, so this has obtuse, this could be it. This has acute. Okay, so far so good. Let's check this shape. Vertex with vertex and line with line. This is obtuse. Vertex with vertex, line with line, obtuse, obtuse, and just by looking at it, I know that all of these are obtuse. So, so far, so good. What about this? Vertex with vertex, line with line. This is an acute angle. What about this one? Obtuse, greater than 90 degrees. What is this? A right angle. What is this? Obtuse angle. And what is this? Acute angle. Okay, so this has obtuse, acute, obtuse, and he, this one has acute and obtuse. Should we worry about this having a right angle? No, because here it doesn't say only. If it had said only, this means it couldn't be it. But it's just telling me that it has acute and or obtuse angle. So this also meets the requirement. Should we choose this one? That might be it, but I have to check all the other answers because that's a cool thing to do. Let's check D. It says polygons with obtuse angles only. Okay. Does this one obtuse angles only? Yes. Does this one has obtuse angles only? Definitely not. So is this the right answer? This looks hairy. I think it's not the right answer. 
Okay, so yes, C is the correct answer. We did, we did it! I'm so proud of you! We solved the problem in less than five minutes. Who knew Mac was so lovely? Snap that like button, smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, snap now! Today's shout out goes to Victoria Ojeda. She is like a flower in the garden of learning. Until next time!